Hey guys, Roger, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. I'm gonna start this video with a story. So last Friday, uh, me and my friend uh, went for lunch in New York City. Uh, so we went for a very, very highly rated sushi place. <laughs> but if you know New York City folks, they love their freaking sushi. Uh, so the place was packed. Uh, so we could not get any spot, uh, so we went to another place uh, which has pretty good ramen. That place was packed as well, uh, so if we wanted some food there, we had to wait like 30 minutes or so. So my friend said, hey, wanna try this new Korean place around the corner? So I asked my friend, okay, what kind of food do they serve? And he goes, uh, they serve something like bansang or something. And I had never heard of it, uh, the food of the restaurant. So I'm like a data-driven guy. <laughs> I research my restaurants, I look them up on Yelp, on Google, uh, and then only I go uh, to a restaurant. Uh, but I had a meeting in like 45 minutes, so I said, okay, sure, let's go. And we went there and I really enjoyed it. Even though the restaurant was new, I never had that uh, food before. Um, so why am I telling you these stories? because you guys are probably familiar with sushis and ramens of AWS, such as EC2, Elastic Beanstalk. However, uh, there are a lot of service which might be relatively new, uh, but they are quite good, like this band sign I had. So inspired by the incident, uh, I'm starting a new web series called What on Earth Is? Uh, so in each of this episode, I'm gonna explore uh, a new AWS service, which is uh, probably not that widely known. Uh, all right, so in this episode, the very first episode, uh, we're gonna explore AWS CodeStar. Uh, so I've spoken to a couple of my friends and they never used it. And I have used it and it is quite good. Okay, so let's, let's explore that. Okay, let's start by looking at the official AWS CodeStar page. Uh, so AWS CodeStar enables you to quickly develop, build, and deploy applications on AWS. AWS CodeStar provides a unified user interface, enabling you to easily manage your software development activities in one place. Um, so this sounds a little bit similar with Elastic Beanstalk, right? Uh, because from Elastic Beanstalk also, uh, you can select a blueprint of a project, and then you can spin it up in uh, minutes. So how is it different? All right, let's go back to our good old comparison chart. Uh, and then we're also gonna take a look uh, in the console with actual demo. Okay, so primary purpose for both Elastic Beanstalk and CodeStar is quickly develop, build, and uh, deploy apps on AWS. Um, CICD, Elastic Beanstalk utilizes CloudFormation. Uh, if you guys see my other video about uh, Elastic Beanstalk, uh, you could see that as soon as you spin up uh, an Elastic Beanstalk stack, uh, you will see a CloudFormation uh, stack getting created. Uh, CodeStar uh, uses code pipeline, and each step is visualized, and it is more DevOpsy. So we're going to see this part in the demo, and this will become more clear. Access to codebase. Code can be downloaded from reference website, and then you can import it into your own ID of choice and then you have to um, push the code to the servers and all that good stuff. With CodeStar, uh, you don't have to download the code from a reference website. Uh, code can be opened in IDE with one click, so which is pretty slick. Uh, we're gonna check into that. And then um, these last two uh, points are unique, uh, especially tracks, prints, and issues. I don't think any service uh, provides that except CodeStar. Um, so what do I mean by that? Let's say you deploy your website and then you want to change something. Um, so if you guys are working in agile organizations, you probably have a Sprint uh, in Jira or um, GitHub, and then you track it there and um, you deploy the changes. So CodeStar actually integrates with Jira and GitHub directly uh, from the dashboard. And you can open a Sprint, you can track Sprint uh, from the service itself, which is pretty neat. And the managing project team, 
Uh, Elastic Beanstalk, it's not available from the service. So basically you have to use your traditional uh, IAM logins uh, to segregate the roles and groups. Uh, Codestar, you can assign team members and roles uh, from the dashboard itself. All right, let's now jump into console and explore this. Okay, we are back to the console. Uh, so let's go to Elastic Beanstalk first to refresh our memory, and then we're gonna go to uh, Codestar. Okay, so Elastic Beanstalk, uh, we can create a environment and we can select this web server environment. Uh, click select, uh, pre-configured platform, you can select, uh, maybe we'll select Java, um, sample application and then create environment. So remember that there is no CI CD tools here, right? So as soon as uh, this Elastic Beanstalk stack is getting created, uh, it actually submits a CloudFormation. So if I click this modify the code button, uh, this actually is just gonna take you to another uh, reference page where, you, where it tells you where to get the bundle and all that stuff. So if you keep following the links, you will end up in this page. Uh, this is where all the source codes are given. Uh, so what do you do with Java, right? Uh, so this Java, so if you click this, it's gonna download the zip file and then you can uh, get the code and then use your local ID. Um, okay, so let's go back to the Elastic Beanstalk, it's starting. Okay, uh, another thing I wanted to show is uh, CloudFormation. So you should see a CloudFormation stack uh, submitted from the AWS Elastic Beanstalk, see AWS EB, uh, so that's what it means. Okay, so you can see there is no uh, code deploy, code commit, all that stuff. Okay, now let's go to code star. Okay, we are back to the main console. Uh, so let's click code star. Okay, and then um, start a project. So let me reduce the font size a little bit. So you can see uh, this is a much more a uh, refined sample application page. Especially on the left, you can filter based on multiple criteria. You can see, hey, show me only the web application or show me the web service or even Alexa scale, all that stuff. So let's click, uh, let's say a web service, how about that, okay? And then we want to uh, click, uh, let's say uh, Spring, Java Spring, um, how about EC2, okay? Uh, we're giving Lambda a lot of love these days. Let's click Amazon EC2, and then it gives you an option, hey, uh, where should Codestar put the sample code? So it gives you an option. Um, you can say, hey, okay, put put all the sample code in code commit, uh, or you can use GitHub, right? Um, so if you use GitHub, it will ask you to connect to GitHub, and then a repository name. Let me give a project name. Sample code star, okay? Uh, so it is gonna create a repository in GitHub and if I click next, uh, boom, here you go. See, it's saying, okay, so for source, I'm using GitHub. For build, I'm going to use AWS code build. Same for test. Deploy, I'm going to use AWS code deploy. And monitoring, I'm going to use Amazon uh, CloudWatch, right? Uh, so, depending on what blueprint you select, it is going to show you what DevOps uh, tool chain it is going to use for CI CD. Uh, so, let's keep, uh, let's select a web application and maybe uh, serverless AWS Lambda. Okay, how about this Go application? I like this little body. Okay, so we're going to say web app code star. Okay, let's do code commit, click next. So it's gonna create a repository named web app dash code star. Uh, so now it's showing, hey, for source, I'm going to use code commit. For build and test, I will use code build, deploy cloud formation, monitoring CloudWatch. Okay, let's create project. Uh, pick how you want to edit your code, right? So it gives you the choice of IDEs. Uh, so I love AWS Cloud9. Okay, so I'm just gonna select that and click next. Uh, recommended instances for Cloud9, T2 Micro all the way. 
Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back uh, once the application is spun up. Okay, so our app is up. Uh, so let's first uh, go to the link. So this is the application endpoint. Let's click that. All right, so congratulations. You just created a GoWeb application uh, designed and developed with love in Seattle. Okay, so let's go back to the console. So in this CodeStar dashboard, right, um, let's explore this a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the ID a little bit later. So on the right side is the continuous deployment, source, build, deploy. So if you click this, uh, it's gonna open the AWS code pipeline and it's gonna show each step. So if you want, you can go in detail uh, on each step and explore that. Okay, so this is the monitoring part. This is the Amazon uh, CloudWatch, which is in the dashboard as well. Um, this is the Jira stuff that I was talking with. Uh, so you can click connect and you can connect to Atlassian Jira. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Okay, and now uh, another thing that is unique is set up your team. So if I click uh, set up your team, uh, you can add a team member to this project, okay? Um, so I can select the IAM user, maybe developer Bob. Uh, you can give an email address and you can say, hey, developer Bob is maybe a contributor, right? Um, I can add another team member. How about developer Tina? Uh, maybe she's just a viewer for this one, right? So you add all that. Um, so it's pretty convenient. So let's go back to dashboard and um, let's go to the most fun stuff is uh, updating the code. Uh, so if you click the start coding or you can click the see my environments, uh, it should take you to the cloud nine environment. So you can see it's, it's uh, cloning all that stuff. So close this web app, code star, um, Okay, the public, the index.html is the HTML place. Uh, okay, so let's do one thing. So this is our app. Uh, it says designed and developed with love in Seattle. I love Seattle. Uh, however, I love New York City a little bit more. So how about we change this Seattle to New York City? Okay, let's go back to our Cloud9. Click, uh, double click this index.html. Let's find out the Seattle, okay. Here, in, okay, I'm just gonna make it New York City. Okay, let's save this. Okay, one file changed, and then I'm just gonna put it, uh, push it. Okay, so git push origin master. Okay, so it pushed. So let's go back to code star. So code star, and then we're gonna go to code pipeline. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it automatically started building the code. And you can see uh, our changes are here. Okay, so it triggered the whole chain. Uh, it, it, it committed the code. Uh, it built our code and now it's deploying. Uh, so think about this for a minute, right? So CodeStar uh, created the sample application and then uh, it uh, put the sample code in a repository, in one of your repository, so that you don't have to go to a website and download it and search it, all that stuff. And with a click of a button, it opened the code in IDE, you changed it, and it was automatically connected to the repository through Git. So all you had to do is just, you did not even have to clone it. You just had to make the change and then just push it, and then it automatically um, triggers this whole CI CD tool set and the changes uh, should be done in any minute. So we're going to pause this video and come back uh, as soon as the changes are deployed. If you guys are liking uh, this episode, uh, please feel free to suggest an AWS service that you want me to cover, and I'll cover it uh, in the future episodes. Okay, the changes are deployed. Let's go back to the CodeStar console. Okay, I accidentally <laughs> pushed it twice. Um, so you can see all the changes, all the commit comments are here. Um, okay, let's try the link now. If we click it, there we go. Instead of Seattle, uh, it's saying uh, New York City. 
So one thing I find really useful is, let's say I want to learn a little bit more on how to deploy serverless using code pipeline or uh, deploy a project into EC2. So what I do is like, I just create a project, uh, maybe an API, so I click web service, and then I could say, hey, Java Spring using AWS Lambda, click next, and then I see what's happening, and then I create the project, and I go take a look at the code pipeline, uh, study the cloud formation, uh, and I can reuse all that stuff. I find it, I find it very handy. So next time you want to quickly deploy a blueprint and then start changing the code, uh, please give CodeStar a try. So hopefully now you know what on earth is AWS CodeStar. All right, guys, that is the video. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, please give uh, Korean Bansang a try. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.